This week, we reported that Montrose High School may be getting a makeover with the help of voters. Our Kyle Kawamoto spoke with members of the school district for an expanded look at the issue. A school in the heart of Montrose is full of history. Our community was really um, clear about a desire to keep Montrose in the heart of Montrose. But locals say they're ready for it to move into the future. The community feedback that we had um, strongly states that this might be the right time. Montrose's superintendent Carrie Stevenson tells me that the plan came to be when the district sent out several surveys and through the conceptual design process, that is how the input of the community, school, and even the parents came to be. There's been a lot of patchwork additions um, put on this school for the last 80 years, and it's really time to take a uh, you know holistic approach to it. There are best grants available to rural school districts that cannot raise enough revenue uh, locally, um, but that the total pot of money available generally for best is $140 million, and this project will not be a good candidate for a best grant. So the option really available to us is a bond. The Montrose School District has been going through a master capital planning process for the last three years. Due to the age of the building, the district is asking voters to help approve a newer and improved building. Designed to help teach more than 14,000 students, the renovation process would see 90% of the school demolished, with its current gym left intact. And so when we looked at the new build option, we realized we could reuse uh, Lloyd McMillan Gym and kind of build the new school around that. And it also allows us to keep school in session during the construction process. The school's proposed redesign could cost up the district to $200 million. The way how the bond will work is that there will be a calculated amount of $9 per month per 100,000 of your home's actual value. And this is what the plan will be if the votes go through in November. Kyle Kamoto, KREX News.